The earliest record of magic was found in Egyptian tomb paintings, like this one here, showing the classic cup and ball trick. This routine was also popular in ancient Rome, and it gave rise to the entertainment form known today as magic tricks. Despite its innocent origins, magic became considered the work of the devil, and was officially taboo within the next hundred years. Reginald Scott wrote a book called Discovery of Witchcraft, in an attempt to prove that there was no witchcraft involved in these illusions, but it gave magicians a bad reputation for being tricksters. In 1634, a step-by-step -step guide to performing basic magic tricks surfaced. It was called Hocus Pocus Jr. and changed the perception of magic into something slightly less dark and occult. One day, an English man named Jean-Eugène Robert Houdin accidentally received two magic books in the place of his clockmaking books. But instead of sending them back, he opened them and fell in love with magic. He began practicing magic with a doctor named Mouse and spent all his waking hours studying his craft. Houdin was so well known as a magician that during an Algerian insurrection in 1856, Napoleon III recruited him to perform a magic trick to combat the illusions being performed by the supposedly divine Algerian marabouts. His trick was so convincing that the marabouts conceded to France. Houdin became known as the father of modern magic and was the inspiration for one legendary escape artist. Born Eric Weiss in March of 1874, Harry Houdini got his start in the magic world after immigrating to New York City from Hungary as a child. He was 17 when he started performing magic professionally. He originally focused on basic card tricks and some handcuff tricks, but when showman Martin Beck invited him to join the Orpheum Vaudeville Circuit, he committed himself to doing almost exclusively escapism. Although the magician was devoutly Jewish, many people accused him of stealing power from the devil because his tricks seemed impossible and were earning him incredible amounts of wealth and fame. In London 1905, with the popularity of magic on the rise, a group of magicians led by David Devant founded a community dedicated to magic. It was called the Magic Circle and contained an outer group and an elite group, the Inner Magic Circle. Their motto is Indocilis Privata Loki, which means not apt to expose any secrets. Magic soon became a mainstream form of entertainment. With the popularity of television, more magicians earned notoriety. Some of these magicians were David Nixon, Tommy Cooper, and Paul Daniels. This man here is Doug Henning. He brought on a revival of magic, reestablishing it as an entertainment art for all ages, not just children. He was a superstar and blazed the trail for the magicians of today, one of whom being David Copperfield. Copperfield was an extraordinary performer, and he differed from Henning in the tone of his acts. While Henning was popular for being whimsical and silly, Copperfield did more daring stunts on a bigger scale, such as falling down Niagara Falls or making the Statue of Liberty disappear. One iconic duo, not just in the magic industry, but in the general entertainment industry, is Penn and Teller. Experts in misdirection, these two masters of magic can surprise their audience by taking old tricks and putting twists on them. But the magic community has faced controversies. 1997 marked the beginning of a cynical television series that revealed the secrets of some of the world's most famous magic tricks. The show, entitled Breaking the Magician's Code, faced much criticism because it involved a magician breaking oath and revealing long-kept secrets to the general public. For this reason, the magician was kept anonymous and masked while on camera. So the power of magic can fall into the wrong hands. Criminals, especially pickpockets, use misdirection and sleight of hand to distract people and steal from them. But over the centuries, trick magic has salvaged its reputation and is now one of the most popular activities of the modern world. Since ancient times, Magic has been transforming, like this card. From a simple pastime, to occult work, to mainstream entertainment, magic has evolved in response to a changing world.